grade three math number 83 time and hours on a clock there are two hands these are called hands the short one the red one tells you what hour it is and the long hand tells you the minutes when the short hand is pointing to a number and the long hand is on the 12, it's o'clock. O'clock. So this is pointing to the 1. This hour hand is pointing to the 1. So it's 1 o'clock. See? So, there are 24 hours in each day. So the clock's hour hand has to go around two whole times around the clock for each day. Okay, so look at this clock. For the next hour, this red hand is going to go to the 2, then the 3, then the 4, then the 5, then the 6. Each time the red hand moves to another number, the blue hand goes all the way around. Okay, so at 1 o'clock it's here. At 2 o'clock, the blue hand went all the way around back up to the 12, and it made the red hand, the hour hand, move to the 2. So now it's 2 o'clock. Then the blue hand, the minute hand, goes all the way around to the 12 again. And it moves the hour hand to the 3, so it's 3 o'clock. So for every hour, the blue minute hand has to go around the clock. And it'll be the next hour, okay? The minute hand goes around one time each hour. It goes past the 12 24 times each day, one for each hour, because there's 24 hours in a day. That's the minute hand. The hour hand goes around past the 12 two times. Okay? It goes around when it's midnight and 12 noon lunchtime. So here we have the hour hand and the minute hand both pointing to the 12. Okay? It's either midnight, in the middle of the night when you're in bed sleeping, or it's 12 noon lunchtime. Two times a day, the hands point to the 12 like this. In the middle of the night and at lunchtime. And the very next thing this red minute hand does is it moves to the 1, when the blue one goes all the way around. Then the blue one will go around again, and it'll make the red one point to the 2. And the blue one will go around again, and it makes the red one point to the 3. And it does that all day long, two times it goes past the 12. Okay? So, the only way to know if it's midnight or lunchtime is to look outside your window and to see if it's a.m. or p.m. A.m. is the morning or day, and p.m. is evening or night. So someone might say it's 4 o'clock p.m. That's 4 in the afternoon. If it was 4 a.m., you haven't woken up for school yet. You've got a few, couple more hours to sleep before school. But I bet some farmers are up. Now, the other thing you need to know is the clocks can only go in this direction. They only go around this way. If they go around the other way, the clock is broken because they only go around this way. That's called clockwise. You'll hear someone say, Hey, can you grab the water hose and twist it clockwise to get it over that bush? That means they want it to go that way. So people use the term clockwise when they're not even around clocks. It's the direction that the hands are going around the clock. Okay? The first time the hour hand goes around past the 12 is a.m. And then the second time the hour hand goes past the 12 it's p.m. So this red hour hand is going to go all the way around two times for each day. And this minute hand is going to go 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. Now it's noon. Now it has to do it all the way again to get to midnight. So the minute hand is going around 24 times but the hour hand is only going around two times. Okay? So that's the basics of time and hours and telling time. Sorry about that reflection on the board there. 
uh, we're going to talk about telling time by the hour and half hour in the next video. Come check it out. Within the next few videos, you're going to be able to tell time on a clock. It's kind of cool. I'll see you there.